had a student who was so enmeshed, all of this, a professional person, so enmeshed in their career, in the technical aspects that they couldn't Oh, I've had many that uh, the mind. Um, very difficult to get them going, but you can get anybody going if you experiment and find out how he works. Yeah. So you don't have just one way of doing this. Yeah. You have to cooperate and lead from, I've lost good students where I would teach based on logic Sure. and uh, things that seem perfectly simple and logical to me and explain to them and they won't accept it because they're looking for more complex uh, answers to their problems. Uh, just my dear friend Bob Lambert uh, had a lot of embouchure trouble uh, and had to leave the Chicago Symphony and uh, he's a good friend of mine and he wouldn't come up to see me for the longest time but when he finally did come up uh, I looked him over and I, I knew what was wrong within 30 seconds. And anyway, uh, I started to work on the problem in my own way. And But he, he had a, a, a cirrhosis of the liver. And the capsule, there's no pain in the liver, but in the capsule, you have pain nerves, and then the body tends to squint around it. And it was interfering with his playing and his breathing and everything. So I put him in the low register of the horn. He says, that's not my problem. My, my problem's up in the high end. And I said, well, we're going to get to that, but we have to free up the low register. It's going to be fairly easy to get back up, but we need to not work on your problem now, but to establish standards and normalcy where you don't have the problem, then move it back. And he wouldn't accept that, and they left me. Uh, uh, I would have had to see him, you know, maybe a uh, dozen times, and I think I saw him maybe twice, and then he did like my teaching. He went to Bill Bell at the University of Indiana, and Bill knew nothing of these things, and of course that was completely unsuccessful. Yeah. I could have corrected him, but yeah. he would not stay. Some people just, you know, you're saying, want the more complicated... Well, technology. they want the answer to the problem as they see it. I have all sorts of people that come to see me and tell me what's wrong with their playing. <laughs> they do self-diagnosis and, and, and tell me that they want to work on that problem. Well, I recognize validity of their own worry over it, that they, and uh, many times they're right, but in, I have to check out and see because, like I mentioned the other day in one of my classes, when you're um, having a problem with the tongue, so often the problem is here, uh -huh. and, the, and the muscles I oh, cause yeah. the tongue to protrude. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I have to make sure that the swallowing musculature and the uh, genoglossus group and everything that are in their normal states, you know what I mean? And uh, I've got something to correct the problem where it exists, the tongue is holding up in the closure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can't keep pulling the front down when something else is it's stuck pushing. in the back, yeah. <laughs> so, in other words, I have to yeah. make judgments. And many times people are moving their bodies and looking like they're doing things pretty well, but it's mechanical motion. They're not taking air, they're not doing the things they need to do. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to make decisions on my own. So I always tell them, you know, that, yeah, sure, we're going to do this, but let me examine it, you know. Yeah. <laughs>